You ever have an encounter with somebody just go entirely wrong? Like in every way possible that it just don't make no damn sense. I remember I was coming home from a show and I had not done well. It wasn't like the worst set in the world. Like I didn't walk off stage and just be like, hey, does anybody have it in their schedule to just go ahead and murk me? It wasn't like that. It wasn't like I didn't take a full L. I took like a lowercase L though. It still, it still don't feel good. It's still an L to the face. Anyway, so I needed some cheering up. So I went to Panda Express and you know, I love, I love me some Panda Express. I don't love Panda Express, but Panda Express, you know what I mean? That should just be their slogan. Panda Express. I don't fucking know. Panda Express. Why not? Panda Express. It's just a little bit of shame. <laughs> anyway, I got my I got my food and I was walking home. First of all, I don't, the lady who gave me my food gave me two forks. And, and maybe I was heavy at that time, but she ain't had to call me like that. She ain't had to slide another damn fork in there like, I know damn well this ain't all for you, you fat son. Anyway, so I was walking home and there was like, what do we call a, a, a hoe? And she was doing, you know, her work. And I was about to go into my apartment. And she, so we were kind of walking like side by side, but I was going one way and she was going the other way. And she was like, hey, you have a girlfriend? And I was like, nah. Which now that I think about it, like I knew she was a hoe. I don't know why I said, nah, I could have lied. I don't know. But now that I think, think about it, I don't even know why I would have lied. Anyway, so the hoe asked me, hey, do you have a girlfriend? And I said, nah. And then she said, you want some pussy? Now, I am a comedian and I am fairly quick most of the time, but I'm also not used to getting that question this soon into the conversation. So I, I didn't know exactly how to respond. So I just said, oh, no, I got this Panda Express. I'm good. And then she said, OK, God bless. Huh? Like, I feel like we both got everything wrong. You know what I mean? I can't act like it was all her. And yeah, I was stumped. But she said, do you want some pussy? And I could have just said no. Instead, I said, no, nah, I got this Panda Express and then presented it to her. And then she said, God bless. Like she like she didn't just ask me to, to get some to get some pussy. The crazy thing about it is, is I'm so I was, I was I'm so such a fat piece of motherfucker that I. I honestly didn't even remember that that was a strange altercation until after I finished my extra helpings of Panda Express. Why did I present it to her, though? Like, why did I do that? I shouldn't have did that. Because she would have fucked me up if she would have been like, oh, well, shit, can I get some? Oh, yeah, for sure. Now I got to have this bitch come in my house and, and we got to, I'm getting, I got to give her Panda Express and no pussy? I, I need to come to grips with the fact that I want to make it very clear the fact that she was a, a professional was not entirely the reason that I said no. Probably wasn't even the biggest reason. The biggest reason I said no was because I had this motherfucking Panda Express. Y'all y'all don't understand sometimes. But yeah, man, that was a weird altercation. Yeah. That Panda Express did hit hard that night. I did feel better from the, from the raggedy ass set, though. So you're welcome.